Lighting is very, very important for good picture quality. But some of us are too cheap to buy lights. So what do we use? Well, the biggest, easiest to use free light is the sun. It's always there during the day and it's always free. So how can we utilize it? Well, this is a video from a YouTube production quality course that we filmed. And this is a little sneak peek into what we are sharing in that course. This particular video is on using natural lighting indoors. So what if you want to film indoors, but you don't want to spend your money on expensive lights and cheap lights like this are utter garbage. Well, what you're going to need to do is use natural light. Well, you might be inclined to use them like this, but frankly, this looks absolutely atrocious because I'm too far away from the window. So we're going to have to go to the source of the light, which is the window. So let's get over there. So here I am sitting next to a window and this looks a lot better. Now granted the background does look kind of crummy because this is the backside of our studio, but that's beside the point. There are a few things you do need to keep in mind though before you start filming in front of a window. And the first one is the harshness of the light. You do not want super hard light. It needs to be soft. So you do not want the sun directly coming through the window. What you're going to want to do is avoid west or east facing windows depending on the time of the day. You're going to want to use north or south facing windows because that will provide a softer light. If you're wondering what direction this window is facing, well, I'm actually breaking one of my rules and using a west facing windows, but it is not in the afternoon, it is midday, so we don't have to worry about sun coming directly through the window. Now, window size also has a, an effect on how harsh the lighting is. The larger the window, the softer the light and the more light that comes through, which is better than small windows, which tend to have a little bit less light, but the light is much harder. So try to get a north or south facing large window and midday is very good for shooting indoors while using window light. Now, if you want an even softer light, you might want to consider using diffusion, which can be done with anything from a piece of paper to some shower curtains. The fourth and final factor to how hard or soft the light is, is the position of the subject in relation to the window. So depending on where you put the subject and what angle they are off the window, it will adjust how hard, how soft, and how much light hits the subject. There are four angles that I think work the best. So let's get into these. The four methods I like to use while lighting with windows are head on, that's where you have your subject facing the window, side lit with a reflector on the other side, that's where the subject is to the side of the window facing the camera, having the subject face the corner of the window from a 45 degree angle, and then having the subject sit just a little bit past the window side lit to give a soft light on the face, which is what we're using right now. We mentioned a reflector to bounce the light, which can be achieved with very inexpensive tools, which we will get into later. And they can be used with any of the angles. So let's go around the house and explain different angles and how to use them. But first, let's start with this one. Before we go any further, let me jump in here and interrupt for a second. And I wanna talk a little bit about the course. I am obviously the presenter and I've been on YouTube for seven years now. Our YouTube videos used to look like this. Alrighty people, today I'm gonna to be talking about how to get the best quality video out of your smartphone. And now they look like this. So this course is compacting seven years of learning into one short course for you that you can find in the description linked below. So let's go around the house and explain different angles and how to use them. But first, let's start with this one. I am sitting just behind the edge of the window, sitting sideways to the window with the camera in front of me. And this creates a very soft, even lighting across my face. I do have more light on this side and less on this side, but with a window, this is about as even as you're gonna get with a side lighting setup. This window is about normal size, but it's facing west and it's midday, so the light is fairly diffused coming onto my face. This lighting is side lit with a reflector filling in this side of my face. 
Now this gives me more light onto the side of my face here and this reflector fills it in acting like a fill light. This reflector is just a $1 piece of white poster board that you can pick up at any dollar store. So it's really cheap and really easy and you can set it up on anything. You can duct tape it to something. We have a light stand holding it up, but you don't need anything fancy. Now I am side lit, but I, and I'm closer towards the middle of the window. So if we take away the reflector, you will see that there is a lot less light on this side than in the last setup because the light is a lot harsher and just hitting this side of my face. This window is normal sized, not diffused, and it is facing east, but since it's midday, there is no problem with sun shining directly into the window. This setup is direct lighting onto my face. So I am sitting facing almost directly at the window and this allows for a much more even lighting in my face. This window is shaded by a porch, which means it'll be much softer light. And you can always take into consideration what's outside your window, like a tree or a porch overhang to figure out where your light will be the softest. This window is a double wide window, so it's about twice the normal size of a window and it is facing west, but again, it's midday and it's shaded by a porch. So this is our last setup. And this is where I'm facing a 45 degree angle into the corner of a window. We're also utilizing some diffusion here in the form of a soft box diffuser that we've just painters taped up to the window frame. Again, you can use large pieces of paper taped to the window or a shower curtain taped over the window. Anything will work that lets light through but softens it up quite a bit. This lighting also gives a very soft light to the face, especially when using diffusion. It does leave a little bit more of the face in shadow than the previous setup where we were more head on to the window. And that can give it a little bit more definition and a little more depth, which can be very desirable in many situations. So if you make sure your lighting is diffused and you use any of these lighting setups that we've talked about, you can get some really amazing video with just natural light.